All right, what's going on guys and welcome to new black ops 4 video and in today's video we're going to be talking about the future updates for call of duty black ops 4 as well as the update that came out today uh for call of duty black ops 4 as well the game settings update have changed uh hopefully you guys are looking forward to these future updates there's gonna be a lot of stuff changing in the game a lot of meta changes a lot of nerves buffs stuff like that uh, that we're gonna be going over today but first let's get into today's update and let's see what changed so uh, in today's update guys, they updated the black market, resolved an issue where the incorrect animation played after a match uh, which the player did not rank up, so that's good. Uh, they fixed that issue where people would not rank up in tiers and uh, in levels. And then uh, general stability improvements across multiplayer blackout and zombies for black market. Then in multiplayer, we got score streaks, increased uh, thresher's fire rate and projectile speed increased sniper's nest fire rate and duration so these two streaks were pretty underpowered so they buffed them a little bit which is good uh gear slightly reduced acoustic sensor detection detection range which is good a little bit of a nerf for the acoustic sensor everybody that spams the acoustic sensor uh will not be happy but this is a really good nerf in my opinion because that thing was absolutely broken uh fix an exploit in morocco where the player could end up under the map so that's good uh a little map exploit right there that's fixed uh, create a class resolved an issue where reactive camos were not appearing correctly in create a class Long playlist names now display properly on the multiplayer menu as well uh, Then blackout reduced inventory stack size for nine bangs and cluster grenade from two to one Increased charge time for nine bang Increased fuse time before detonation for nine bangs. So they want to nerf the nine bang over on blackout They didn't nerf it in multiplayer sadly. I, I wish they would have but uh, it's all good so that's going to be it for today's update, but Treyarch has also teased what they're working on for the future for the upcoming updates for Black Ops 4. And here they say uh, Treyarch has also provided an update on what they're working on for Black Ops 4 in the future updates. Prestige Custom Classes, we're aware that Custom Class A and Beyond are currently not functioning properly for players who have reached Prestige 2 or higher. So they're going to fix that. Then we got MP Challenge Bugs. We've seen reports of a handful of multiplayer challenges that aren't tracking progress properly, so that's good. They're fixing that as well. And then zombie stability. So all the crashes and stuff that are happening when you guys play zombies, you guys get the high rounds, and then boom, your game crashes. That's going to be fixed as well. Uh, and then right here, guys, Treyarch, today on Charlie Intel, they said, Treyarch has announced on Reddit that the next major patch update, full game update for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 will go live next week on all platforms. With that update, Treyarch says there will be the first major weapon tuning pass in multiplayer, alongside audio fixes and blackout. And more details on the update will be released as we get closer to the release date of the patch. So this is going to be a huge, huge, huge update, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think is going to be changed, what guns are going to be buffed, what guns are going to be nerfed, uh, maybe some you know, equipment, some specialists are going to be buffed and nerfed as well. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. In my opinion, I think the major things that are going to happen, right, is most SMGs are going to be buffed a lot. The ICR might get nerfed, at least grip 2 for it, which I think would be a good idea because it literally has no recoil at all. Any nuke can use that going to be accurate. I also believe they might nerf the 9-bang, which would be a smart move on their end because the 9-bang is absolutely overpowered at the moment. You literally cannot do anything on your 9-bang. You can't even hip-fire your gun properly. It makes your hip-fire accuracy not as good. You cannot lay down. You can only crouch. Like, I don't know. It's just so overpowered. As well as the Ajax shield, in my opinion, should catch a nerf. That, that's just what I think. Uh, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I feel like that needs to catch a nerf as well. Because it's just... You can't do anything. You can't shoot through it. You can't shoot their feet. You gotta be behind them, but they could just... I don't know. It's just It just seems too, too cheesy, in my opinion. Uh... But that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I think they could change. They might buff the sniper rifles. In my opinion, the sniper rifles do deserve a little buff. Because they flinch a little bit too much, in my opinion. The snipers in this game, if you're not an experienced sniper, they're pretty hard to use, man. They're pretty damn hard. Uh, they flinch a lot. So if you're not shooting at a guy that's not shooting back, uh, I mean, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard if he's shooting back at you because your scope literally goes all over the place. Which is kind of insane in my opinion. Snipers have never been that hard to use in a COD except for BO3 maybe. But BO3 it was more because of the jetpacks. In this game it's more because of the flinch. So I don't know. Let me know how you guys feel about this though. Let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see buffed and nerfed in this upcoming update. Like I said, Trek is making a lot of changes. They're trying to make the community happy and that's really, really good. Hopefully you guys are as excited as I am. 
Drop a like if you guys enjoy the video. Subscribe if you guys are brand new. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.